Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams. Remember the name. What's up, peeps? Good morning. Look what I just got. Just check them out. Got a little care package. This should be a new shirt sample. At least that's what I think it is. So I completely forgot. I was even uh, waiting for that one. So that's a little nice surprise. We'll go ahead and check that out in a second. But before I do that, I got a big decision to make. Which one of these dudes do I want to consume? We got the green 3D, the purple, that purple drank 3D, or the blue 3D, or this Alani new, but we're not having that one, or this guy. I'm gonna go with purple. I already made up my mind. Rhetorical question. I like grape stuff. I'm hoping this tastes like grape. I have no idea. If you guys don't know what 3D energy is, it's a Christian Guzman, aka CG. He's like a he's a YouTuber slash in hold on, let me put this down. Slash fitness influencer. Anyways, he's got his own line of energy drinks. It's the first time I ever tried them. I like the cans, they're clean. I dig the uh, style for sure, but uh, not too crazy about the fact that none of them say a single thing about what flavor they are. So, I guess it's kind of a mystery, but I'm really hoping this guy is purple. I'm, by purple, I mean grape, because I like grape soda, and I'm really feeling some grape right now. So don't let me down, CG. Put this bad boy over here. Go grab the care package. Oh yeah, I gotta show you guys that new, uh, that sticker I was talking about too in my last video that I'm about to hopefully finish editing now that I got some time because check this out. This video is crazy. I went out that day when I did the, uh, the little Windermere vlog and I'm in the process of editing it right now, but check this out. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Right, where's that? An hour and 12 minutes of footage, and I've already edited like 20 minutes of it. Or, sorry, my bad, 13 minutes of it. So I've already cut out some. Uh, so I gotta go through an hour more of footage and try and trim that down to like a 30 minute video. That's gonna take some time. Hopefully this dude will help me power through it. Before I forget though, um, the stickers I was talking about in that video that I said you guys may be interested in if you are a fan of either the Las Vegas hockey team, the, what are they, the Gold Knights, or the UCF Knights, because this is the new colorway. Check that bad boy out. These are actually the exact color codes of UCF. So, there's that. I'm gonna add this to the site, L3 Apparel site, today maybe, or maybe, uh, what is today, Wednesday, maybe Friday. But like I said, uh, if you guys are loyal followers or loyal subscribers of my channel, and I know who you are, I know a lot of you comment on my videos, and I do pay attention, I do remember names, so if you do want some stickers, like any of the ones that are on L3 Apparel's website, go check them out. Shoot me an email, you should know my personal email if you've been following me for a while, and I will hook you up, send me your address, and I'll send you a little sticker care package. And that's all there is to it. No catches. If you guys support me, I'm more than willing to throw some free swag your way um, and show that I do care about my uh, subscribers. And uh, I do appreciate you guys. So that's the least I can do. So if you want some stickers, you want some free swag, maybe even, uh, maybe I'll do some hats and shirts in the future. But for now, I'm gonna stick to a uh, sticker. So if you want some, shoot me an email. I'll see what I can do. And that's all I gotta say about that. It's nine in the morning, which means it's about to be editing 30. But first, let me bust out the sample real quick. L3 Apparel, Westlake Drive, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28273. Which means, I think it's from Printful. Let's find out. Open Sesame. Oh, bam, 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 bam. All right, let's go. Come on, You're making me look bad, Printful. There we go. Oh, what do we have here? 
Alright, so check this out. This is the new new that just came in. New product alert. No, no limits. That's what it says on the front, obviously. And on the back, we got limits like fears are often just in illusion. I like it. I'm about that life. It turned out good. I'll definitely be adding this bad boy to the website soon. And finally, finally, after postponing it way, way too long, there will be a new L3 apparel launch. Finally. I gotta work on the dates, but it will definitely be coming soon. Oh my gosh, I'm so... Words can't even describe. Relieved, happy, excited. I've been working on a new product launch for my clothing brand for so long now, months, half a year. There's been so many delays, so many health problems, so many other crap that's came up. So I'm excited to finally drop some new stuff soon. So stay tuned. Hello again. Taking a little break from editing. It's... 12? It's noon, so I don't know when I first started. What was it, like 8.30ish, maybe? I need a break. I'm going crazy. I just got a comment on one of my videos that says, I hope DoorDash goes out of business. Hmm. Oops, I'm sorry, girl. I'm sorry, baby. I didn't mean to step on you. Anyways, uh, I don't know what that dude's beef with DoorDash is, but uh, sounds kind of harsh. Anyways, check it out. I'm at... 41 minutes and 26 seconds out of one hour and four minutes of footage. So I'm getting there. My goal is to finish editing before I got to pick up little dude from school. He gets out at two today. Today's early release. So the pressure's on. It's 12, like I mentioned. But I need a little break. I need a little caffeine. I just realized I haven't really eaten today. That's probably why I feel like crap. That happens sometimes. I get like stuck in, I don't get stuck. I go into like, editing land or like work land and I completely like I just get so lost in editing or whatever I'm working on that I completely forget to eat so uh I got a little little some of something a little cold pressed juice so I'm gonna slam this dude down I gotta keep it real I only drank a little bit of this I'm not a huge fan I like CG but uh wouldn't buy that again it's making me feel kind of the maybe that's because I didn't eat though anyways gonna get some schmaffine i just grabbed this guy yesterday the new ghost legend which is their pre-workout sonic cherry lime flavor so sweet i don't know if you guys have ever had sonic but their cherry limeade actually i think their strawberry limeade's a lot better that thing is amazing but the cherry limeade's pretty good too so obviously i had to taste this flavor kind of a Stupid decision by me though since I just bought this one like a week ago, which is the Warhead sour watermelon. This is like one of the only pre-workouts I've had recently within the last year If you guys know me, you know my I love my pre-workouts But with my stomach condition a lot of them don't sit well with me especially anymore. They make me like really nauseous or sick or just bad news bears but I finally found one that does not give me any problems. And what do you know? It's Ghost Legend pre-workout. It works really well with my stomach. And their flavors are pretty incredible. So not the cheapest thing in the world, but it doesn't make me feel sick. And it does the job. So that's what I'm sticking with. Now I got two tubs of it. Anyways, I'm about to taste test the uh, cherry limeade. I had a little bit of it yesterday, but... Today is the real test. So, see how this bad boy tastes. Wow. <laughs> put this back. Guess I should put some water in there. Anyways, um, what else was I gonna say? during this little check-in. Kind of off topic, not really though. I'm thinking about buying an actual camera. I think that might be my next uh, business purchase. Cause I got my little studio set up pretty much how I want it. I got like everything I want. 
I got this ring light recently, which is pretty sweet. Definitely adds all kinds of uh, lighting gains to the videos and makes it so I can get some sick angles. But uh, I also got some new lights up there, so that lighting situation is a lot better. But this whole area is pretty much how I want it. One of my goals, like somewhat soon, as far as uh, new business purchases, is buy a new Mac because that one drives me crazy sometimes. It's a couple years old and it's a little little slow sometimes that little spinning wheel pops up a little bit too much but i think the next purchase is going to be a legit camera like a legit vlogging camera so if you guys got any recommendations please let me know i don't know too much about cameras i read a lot about uh recently about a couple different ones so i don't know if i want to get like a sony or i really don't know i gotta do some more research but if you guys have i want one that has a either screen that you can flip to the side or one that pops up above it. So obviously it's easier to use for blogging. That's like my number one requirement and I want it to be ideally under a grand. So if you guys got any suggestions, please let me know. Cause like I said, I don't know too much about cameras, but I feel like that'd be a uh, good next purchase as an investment in my channel and my videos. So that's probably what I'm gonna do next. Anywho. Let's hop on the merry-go-round real quick and back to editing. Somebody is in dreamland, sleeping on a job. Uh-oh, woke her up. Oh, check that out. What's your name? How you doing? Come on, man. I got time. What? I was spending it ah. Time to pick little dude up from school. I think that's the longest uninterrupted editing session. I've ever done. That was from like 8.30 to 2, pretty much non-stop. A couple bathroom breaks along the way. Some water, some salad, some bananas. That's about it though. And I'm finally almost done. Ooh, girl, look at that booty. Mm -mm -mm. We're gonna poop, girl. We're gonna poop. Pick your spot. Is that it? Nope. That's the peak spot. Nice. You pooping or no? Hmm? 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 No? Yes? No? Maybe so? She shoots. She scores! And the crowd goes wild! Yeah! The next day. What are those? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Look at those palm trees. You can never, ever, ever, ever get sick of the palm trees in Florida or anywhere else for that matter. I guess the uh, palm trees in Cali and Hawaii and everywhere else. Pretty nice too. I love me some palm trees and some pineapples, but mostly palm trees. Not sure how I'm feeling about these sunglasses. How about you guys? Better than the green ones or worse than the green ones? Probably look a lot better with either pair of shades if I would shave, so. <laughs> Definitely got to get rid of this nonsense. Anyways, though, um, going to pick up Little Man. Just want to give you guys a little update on uh, week two officially now of Chimera. As you saw, I got my uh, technically third injection this morning, but it was the second week. Like I said, I did two injections the first week. You do like the quadruple dose, and then today I did one injection, 
which was a double dose. I'm gonna record the rest of this in the car real quick because I gotta go pick up Little Man, like I said, and I'm probably making you dudes a little bit dizzy from all the uh, walking and talking. Anyways, Humera week two, for those that are interested. Uh, maybe like three days after the first initial loading dose injection, which obviously was two weeks ago. A couple days after, I had really bad stomach pains for most of the day, but I'm not really sure whether or not that can be... Um, I'm not sure whether or not that had directly something to do with the Humera or not, because I did have a couple days before that where I had really bad stomach pains most of the day. But ever since then, ever since like three days after that first loading dose, I've been feeling pretty dang good as far as like my stomach issues go. I get like a stomach problem or get like a stomach ache every now and then, but nothing compared to even remotely comparable to uh, what I was experiencing like a month before Humera when I had like the really bad flare and I lost like 20 pounds. Doing a lot better. Thankfully, knock on wood, this isn't wood, but uh, hopefully it keeps up. Hopefully it's uh, all uphill from here on out. Um, but aside from that, as far as the Humera goes, once again, for those that are interested, I haven't really noticed any side effects. No bad ones, no good ones, unless you want to say a good one is, I guess the side effects aren't really, no side effects are really good, right? So side effects, uh, yeah, no bad side effects I can think of. Maybe like right after the shot or the injection, I was, uh, especially the first one, I got really tired and then later on in the day, I was, had a pretty bad headache. Uh, so far today, Got a little bit tired, maybe a little bit nauseous, but I hadn't really eaten too much today, so it could have something to do with that. Could have something to do with the Humera. Also, my doctor did say it could take like four, up to four weeks for the Humera to completely kick in, if it does. And uh, in the meantime, I still am on a low dose of prednisone. I'm on 10 milligrams right now. I'm supposed to be off completely in two weeks. Looking forward to that. And I'm still also on something called budesonide, which if you guys have ulcerative colitis or uh, Crohn's or you're familiar with it, you probably heard of it. It's another steroid, somewhat similar to uh, prednisone, but a lot less side effects. So I'm still on both of those. So, you know, those could be helping. The Humera might be kicking in. I don't know, it's tough to say. It's only been two weeks, but um, very happy with where I'm at right now. Um, my stomach is the best it's been in a long time. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, definitely, definitely happy. Definitely optimistic for the future no doubt about that just trying to live life a day at a time and enjoy it as much as i possibly can i'm really hopeful i'm really optimistic that this is going to be what my body needs to get me headed in the right direction and so far so good so if you guys got any questions or comments about humera drop those below i've only been out two weeks so i'll do my best to answer what i can but take what i'm saying with grain of salt everyone's experiences obviously will probably be different everyone's body is different but for me two weeks in all i have to say is good things so far hoping it keeps up and i will keep you guys updated that's the only update i got for now um and that's a wrap to this video just a little quick vlog tonight i'm going to my favorite restaurant in the world or one of them called sweet tomatoes it's like a healthy buffet place i love it because i can eat like almost everything there which I can't say about most restaurants. So I'm gonna go celebrate there with some delicious food and uh, enjoy the rest of my day. So hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Have a kick-ass weekend and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching and as always, stay limitless.